Dear physician, I know you have my safety and well-being at heart, but it's in the way the threat of being formed looms over our visits. Dear policeman, I know you're only following procedure for your job, but it's in the way you take out your handcuffs and ask if they'll be necessary. Dear psychiatric unit nurse, I know you're trying to help me reframe my views on life, but it's in the way you point out how pretty I was as a reason I shouldn't have tried to end my life. Dear crisis intervention nurse, I know you mean well and are grasping for deterrence for suicide, but it's in the way you tell me that seizing isn't very ladylike as a reason to not have overdosed. Dear psychiatric unit security and nurses, I know you feel you are doing your job to keep everyone safe, including me, but it's in the way six of you pin me to the ground and administer meds against my will. Dear hospital psychiatrist, I can only hope you mean well and have my health and well-being at heart, but it's in the way you tell me I should be kept in a hospital for the rest of my life. Dear society, I know mental health awareness is increasing and conversations are starting to be had at least at a surface level, but it's in the way you land me in the hospital while others are in private treatment facilities, and it's in the way you land me in the hospital while others are on the street or in jail. Dear me, I know you're fighting every day, but it's in the way you internalize all of these messages and add your own to the pot and it's in the way you allow a broken system to convince you that it is instead you who is broken. Dear you, we have the opportunity to evoke change. Let it not be in the way we allow flaws in our systems to be perpetuated. Let us instead be aware of the many facets of oppression and our position within this broken structure in order to lead the way toward a better mental health care system.